So are nano or microplastics, are these a big issue? How are we exposed to them? This um, article that's attached to this with the graphic actually shows how we're exposed to most of our microplastics. And most of them are actually through drinking water bottles, which kind of makes sense, plastic water bottles. But what we didn't, what I did not know before looking at this was actually boiling water and plastic can increase the amount of microplastics 100 times by consuming hot beverages in these things. Now, this becomes a big deal because your disposable cups, your plastic line cups, your coffee cups, those little, you know, your Starbucks tops you get, you drink your coffee through. All of a sudden now, that's a big issue. Not drinking out plastic is a big issue. The other thing that's really interesting is we do get exposure to these things in the air, particularly indoors in our homes. And this is from the breakdown from vinyl stuff, flooring, plastic that we have in our houses. So this is another advertisement, so to speak, for everybody needing a HEPA filter in their homes and houses. So you know, it's not just consuming it, it's not just food being wrapped in, but it's what we drink out of and it's actually the air we inhale. So something you can do, we'll talk about this a little bit later. I'll actually talk about ways to minimize microplastic exposure. But one of the big things is, is to stop drinking out plastic containers and not to boil or put hot water into plastic containers. Um, again, HEPA filter can be super helpful, but we will later on talk about ways you can actually minimize your microplastic exposure. And it'll be some things you haven't thought about. So stay tuned to that. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.